four of the national championship in 2012, that final game against Oklahoma that day, I, I got a chance to watch some clips this week of that game. Mm. And we'll get to when you guys during the rain delay went out and you were chanting and singing and I'm looking at the Oklahoma bench. They all looked miserable, but it seemed like that entire day was just nasty weather. Mm. And you know, you wake up and from the moment you wake up, you look outside, you look through the windows of your hotel and it's just nasty. It looks dirt. It just, the clouds look dirty. It looks like it's mm -hmm. going to pour and it's awful day, awful weather day. Um, what were you, what was your mindset for you personally um, pregame and, and kind of just being at the hotel knowing that, Hey, look, this is, this is it. I'm a senior. We're a senior, senior class here. This is our last shot to win a national championship. Today is the day. There is no mm -hmm. real tomorrow. Right. Yeah. You know what? It's uh, I think waiting around for a game like that all days is, is a form of torture where it's like, Hey, <laughs> you're going to play at 6 PM tonight, your last game ever. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, so, you know, I kept, it, it was hard the entire day to not be like, this is your last time waking up on a game day. This is your last time going to your pregame lunch. This is your last, it was hard to not have those thoughts creep in. But at the same time, we had practiced so much the entire year of just staying present, staying present. You win this moment, you move on to the next one. And you really did have to win the day, not just the game. Because if you sat there and got yourself in this like adrenaline crazed rush, you would have been, we would have been exhausted come game time. So we did a really good job of like, okay, well, we can't go play the game right now. We're going to go get lunch and then we can't go do this. We have to go get taped. Like, you know, that was, I think we did a good job of that. Um, actually our athletic trainer, uh, we stayed in like an embassy suites where there was a, a big center area of the hotel. So all the rooms faced inward and you could look over the balcony. You saw the dining area, the lobby. He had the idea that he wanted to try to throw a frisbee from one end to the other, which was about 50 yards. <laughs> and you know what? Thank goodness he did that because what a relief like that was. We just we spent about an hour and a half trying to get that frisbee across, and of course it was banging off you know the elevator. I'm gonna say, you know how hard it is to throw a frisbee? I'm terrible at it. Oh I'm man, not, I'm not. I'm pretty good athletically. <laughs> <laughs> so if we uh we joked we called it like the valley toss and we ended up getting it like one complete valley toss there you know that was just such a perfect distraction like that was okay let's go do something fun that doesn't let us just stew in our room worrying about the game so yeah that was i mean that it, it, as long as we were enjoying each other like what more could you have asked for you know what i mean that's right. talk about your last time being a part of a team so oh sure 